WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update and currently have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. Dow's down 90 points. S&P's off 30. NASDAQ 170. That's about one and three tenths percent to the downside. Semis are down one and a quarter percent. 38 points there. Gold is up about 50. So flat. Silver's up 16 cents. That's up about three quarters of a percent. One uh, percent for light sweet crude. That's 73 pennies to the upside. Natural gas back nine cents. 30 year treasury trading out at 128.02. Let's try to figure out what all that means by taking a look at the nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini upper left hand panel. What we'll see out there is there's really two levels of resistance that the ES mini is dealing with. First is the top of the profile, 41.68, which is basically where price topped yesterday. The second would be its swing point. That if passed, if closed above, and it's done it once over the last five trading sessions, and that level is 4180. Close above 4180, all of a sudden triggers an A to B equals CD to the upside with 4438 being its price target. As long as spot volatilities, that's panel number two in the upper section there, is below its 50-day exponents moving average. That's that blue dark line, 2079. That is a uh, that's a that's a benefit to the bulls out there or the buyers. The NQ it does have a TD nine count top. If price were to close above 12, 949.75, well, then that would tell us about a strong move to the upside. Even though we've got a, a TD9 count top, what you can see here is that price is trading above the top of its daily profile. That is a bullish message. What's not, showed, what's not shown on this chart here is price is also trading above the top of its, um, or its green oscillator and change line. Those two conditions are bullish. So the overall call right now for the NQ has to be neutral. Well, you can make it whatever you want. I'm going to call it neutral. We have a top with price trading above resistance levels that are very key. The U.S. dollar index has made a nice move off the bottom. That's got a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. That support is at 100.68. Price is above the top of its daily profile and trying to trade into a swing point. It's rejected that swing. It rejected it yesterday and the day before. That swing point was from the trading day of January 6th. If price did close above 103.64, that would signal perhaps a move up to the top of that swing point, and that's at 105.50. Goldilocks making that big move down, two-day move down, to test the support area of its weekly profile. Never got all the way down there at 1868.60, but pretty darn close. Now, there is a new daily profile that has just popped up on the screen. It's attempting to form. We're using Steve's advanced Doppler tool. That's got resistance at 19. 14 at support at 1883. Folks, sorry that we didn't get through all nine of these charts out here, but we'll certainly talk about these other instruments during the Trader's Ed show. But if you have to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one, and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.